Hi folks, it's Andy. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, welcome to another new uh, kendo analysis type video. Um, <laughs> uh, basically, the idea of this video is, um, this kind of video really, I've done a few of these now, is to um, enjoy Mitori uh, Geiko, which is uh, practice through watching. Uh, together and essentially I'm going to take you on my journey through Mitori Yeko. Okay, so I take various videos that I found from around the place um, and we watch them together and I take you through what I'm getting from it, what I'm learning from it and what I'm picking out from my own analysis of the footage. Um, so yeah, um, of course it's all, only my opinion. Uh, I could be wrong about lots of it, especially as today we're going to be looking at the 2020 Korean Kundo Federations um, seventh Dan Championships. Now, um, I say Kumdo because that's the word that they use in uh, South Korea um, for uh, the art that we know as Kendo. Um, and although it's sort of disputed as to whether they're definitely uh, the same or not, basically Kumdo is the, I, I understand to be the Korean um, reading of the kanji um, that we use to write Kendo in Japanese. Um, so the kanji is the same. Uh, and it, it, it looks very much the same. I'm not going to get into whether they're the same or the different or any of that sort of stuff, to be honest. Um, but we can look at it um, and relate it very much to Kendo um, as we know it um, from a sort of Kendo as a Japanese arts point of view. Um, so, uh, yeah, I don't want to get too much into that sort of rubbish about it to be honest because I'm not interested in it um but a couple of things I will say is there are some differences between um this kind of tournament that's held in South Korea um and tournaments that are held in Japan and often el elsewhere around the world done in the Japanese style um as you can see straight away I I'll, I'll get into more of the details but things like the the flags are different colors the ribbons are different colors they don't do songkyo and stuff like that um but it, it they're not super major important things for the purposes of watching this for Mitori Geiko so with that out of the way um we're going to watch this first video um which is um following the eventual winner of the tournament uh Kang Ho Lee um, very, very strong player, played for the national team um, for a long time. Um, I met him myself a couple of times, actually. Um, I can't say I've spoke to him as I, I don't speak any Korean and I'm not sure if he speaks English. Um, he, might, he might well do, but I, I don't know. Um, but he was he was in the combat games when I was in it and he did actually win first place in the individuals. Very, very fantastic player. Um, so very excited to be watching his uh, matches. Um, and then we're going to move on and we're going to look at another player from the tournament's matches after this as well. So um, before we do though, before I hit that play button, if you do like this video, if you like any of the videos that we put out, whether it's these analysis type videos, if it's the kendo rant videos, if it's the instructional videos or anything like that, uh, the way to support the channel of course is by shopping at my website which is kendostar.com. Dot com. It's fantastic, amazing Kendo equipment. Um, of course, I would say that I own the website, but if you don't believe me, you can check our um, reviews, our Trustpilot rating. Um, we're knocking it out of the park as, a, as far as that's concerned. Um, so yeah, um, it's not just me that says that. Our customers sincerely agree. So get to kendostar.com uh, and do your Kendo shopping there. So right, let's get into these Ippons, shall we? Right, so this first one, like I say, this is... Um, Mr. Kang Ho Lee. He, I believe he's the one facing the camera right here. Oh, by the way, before we move any further, <laughs> I did forget to say, these videos are come from the channel SW Kendall. Fantastic channel. You should definitely go and uh, subscribe to him on YouTube. Um, there's a link in the description down below uh, to the original videos. Oof. The solid men, wasn't it? Let's watch how that happened. It came from a kind of Katsugi place, didn't it? He's very tall, is Mr. Mr. Lee. So what's going on here is kind of strong interaction between the Shinai here. You see how the Shinai comes across this way like this, right? I've seen this a lot actually from Korean players. And um, they're very good at this, they've got very flexible wrists, very fast Shinai speed. Um, bringing the Shinai over here looks like you're coming for Kote, yeah, because it's on this side, so it looks like you're coming for Kote, but last minute you changed for men, so his opponent started to block Kote, and by the time he's realised he's coming for men, it's just that little bit too late, and he's got that solid 
men strike. Like that. Great strike. So next we have a match with a Nito player. Mr. Lee is on the right here. Not great quality video. I think this is originally from the, the Korean Kendo Federation's channel or something. Or Kumdo TV or something. So here the uh, the Nito player should really be making a faster effort to get back to correct Super ZDI. I'd like to see that personally. But okay, nice hikidor there. Hikidor. What lots of people don't realize is, oh, Tuki, that was good, wasn't it? It's a shame we couldn't quite see it. Um, what lots of people don't realize is when you're doing Nitoryu, um, you have to put the the short or the short sword in front when you do Super ZDI. You have to do Super ZDI actually with the short or. Um, so yeah, um, the chap just now kind of was struggling to get to that position. But you see here how he's guarding with his both swords over his head. This has given him that chance for that Hikido. It's a great, great chance for Hikido. Very well seen point from uh, Mr. Lee there. Let's have a look, another look at that ski. It's just right where that Shimpan is, isn't it? But very nicely well timed ski. Okay, so Mr. Lee's on the right here. <laughs> Brilliant, Toby Komi man. Brilliant, Toby Komi man. So here, this is just a case of really taking the advantage, taking the sen here, the sen. Uh, that's taking the initiative. Yeah, you can see him do that here. Bam, here like this, and straight away his opponent's like, "Oh, I'm I'm not really up for this," and he's he's trying to trying to get out of the situation, but. Mr. Lee here is already on the way for this men. And by the time he realizes that, that he's coming, it's, it's just far too late. Like that. One thing I would note here is you have to be a bit careful with this. Um, you know, I'm not criticizing this player, of course not. Um, but just a point to note. Um, you, you know, I, I've seen this happen a lot in Japanese Shiai where they would take the point away for this kind of Zanshin. Um, where he's totally facing away from the um, from his opponent. Um, there's a couple of reasons for this. Yeah, it's not good Zanshin to do that. But also, obviously, if this this hadn't made the if this strike hadn't been awarded, it's very dangerous. You might receive the strike. Yeah, so don't don't imitate this. Um, it can lose you the point. It's not it's not really great. Um, fantastic men strike though. More tips on Zanshin. You can watch my video about it. On the channel. There you go, there, men. Fantastic. He's on the right here. Oh, okay, that was a well seen point, wasn't it? We're getting a slow motion. We didn't get a slow motion. Let's let's go back and have another look at it then. Where are we? Yeah, so here, I know it's not exactly um, clear because we've got a Shimpan in the way, but as you can see, as his opponents move forward but hesitate to make a strike, sort of moving forward to, to, to block, he's managed to bring his Shinai. See, this flexibility in the wrist here is so um, paramount to the style of Kendo. Um, He's managed to bring the Shinai around that guard and get a men's strike in there. That's that's tough. That's tough. Especially in that sort of split second window of opportunity. Yeah. Bam. Fantastic. Again, he's on the right hand side. Okay. Nice. So, Kote Kaishi Men, here yeah, again, I'd re echo what I said about the Zanshin, but um, the strike itself here, obviously that's perfect, isn't it? That strike. Kote Ojiwaza. Um, this, this here, you need to be careful of. Don't imitate this. Uh, if you can help it, um, because I think this would uh, 
this this could and I've seen in, in before you know this result in the what's called the Torikeshi where they remove the point for the lack of Zanshin he's on the right side here Wow, that was good, isn't it? Let's watch that again. So, how did that come about? I'm going to need to watch that one again, I think. <clears throat> so, very wide stance, hasn't he? Very wide stance, but his left foot is ready to launch him at any second. And because he's very tall, he can reach a long way. Yeah, you see, just as his opponent was kind of confused for a second, instantly made the strike to men. Instantly made the strike to men. His opponent obviously wanted to try to do the Kaishi door, but completely had the initiative taken away from him. Really like that dolmen here. It's, uh, it's been embroidered to represent the uh, South Korean flag. Looks great. Wow. <laughs> wow. So again, another solid men's strike. It's a bit hard to see that one because of the angle, um, to be honest. But um, it's a bit similar, I think, to the previous one where he's managed to just catch that. Yeah, there's that sort of looking at it from the angle. It's hard to say, but it looks like he kind of drew back a little bit to kind of lure his opponent in to that sense of security. His opponents kind of followed him. Not sure what's going on. Oh no! Okay, bam, and that's where that's where the men men strikes come. Fantastic. See as he goes back there. Yeah, yeah. Just as, just after he tried to defend himself, I think that that might have been the final. So that was that was a great set of bonds, wasn't it? From um, the eventual champion, Mr. Kang Ho Lee. Um, what I'm going to do now is we're going to switch over to another uh, clip, again, from uh, the SW Kendo channel. So here we are um, with another clip. Uh, this one is um, of Mr. Min Gyu Kim. Um, I, I love this guy's Kendo. I've watched this already, and I really, really like this guy's Kendo. So looking forward to uh, getting into this. <clears throat> Pretty sure he's on the left here. Fantastic. Look at that Debanam in. Fantastic. Let's watch that again. <laughs> so on the left here, the white player. Here, you see how he takes the initiative right there, that tiny step here. Watch his feet. Watch his feet here. Sa here. Takes that initiative and his opponent's got no choice but to react to him. He can either try to block or he can reacting but he, what he's done is created a situation where his opponent's responding to his movements um so his opponent's trying to respond but of course he's far too late far too late and you get that beautiful divana min that's a like fantastic zanshin as well so the zanshin was talking about um this is more like the kind of zanshin i think that um you would expect to see in a certainly in a, a japanese shiai He's blue now. Okay, so Kaishido, yeah, pretty decent Kaishido. So again, here, a bit similar to that men strike we looked at a minute ago, where you see how he's he's he sort of built up this situation where his opponent is feeling comfortable to attack men i think he clearly had this planned yeah he's in the distance drawing him back come on come on come on come on yeah 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 i'm scared of you i'm scared of you then he's re-engaged and we'll see yeah there's there's actually that small it's so subtle but it, it's fantastic um here at this interaction here his opponent starts to come forward and you see his um 
Mr. Kim here on the right, his reaction to his opponent's semi is he, he sort of dips down and slightly goes forward. This makes his opponent think that he's coming from then. He thinks he's going to do the same Deban and Men that he did, that Mr. Kim did in the previous Ifbon. But actually, it was a trap and he gets this fantastic Men Kaisido. Very well, very well made point. I think he's on the right here. I think. I can't read Korean, so he might be on the left. <laughs> Are they both? And they're both. It looks like they're both called Mr. Kim. So I'm not sure. I think he's the guy on the right. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Fantastic, yeah. That's a very hard point to judge as well. As the Aiki men. Aiki men. Um, this happens a lot in Japan as well. Um, very common point, um, but it requires very attentive shimpam. Um, but it's it's perfectly um, valid, va valid, and a, you know it, it's a point that should be awarded when it happens. It's often missed. I think he's on the left. His opponent had a nice try for the nuki door there though. Tense exchanges. Wow, what a fantastic men. Let's watch that again. Yeah, so you made a very, very deep semi. Really close the distance here. He's on the Ura side of the Shinai. Yeah. Very, very nice strike. Very nice strike. Okay. That's a Shinai Otoshi, so you get a penalty for dropping the Shinai here. Wow. So this is this is often, you know, a uh, common pattern. After restarting the players want to make a strike, especially if they just lost the penalty. Can be a little bit eager to make a strike and it looks a little bit that's similar to what happened here his opponent is very eager to come and make a strike for men uh mr kim here has readjusted the distance ever so slightly again to give him that little bit of sense of false sense of security if you draw back like this it's unlikely they're going to strike at your kote they're probably going to want to strike at your men um which is exactly actually looks more like um yeah, he's gone for door here. It's quite interesting. But he's made that brilliant Kote strike. Um, so I think his opponent here, looking at this, was probably anticipating him to step back and then leap forward for that Deban Men like he's done in the last couple of matches. He's got a very strong men strike. And his his uh, plan was, of course, to uh, do the men nuki door. But Mr. Kim has caught this fantastic Kote um, instead and foiled that plan. <laughs> Fantastic. There we go. You see how he draws back there. It looks like he's going to do that Dibana Men that he did before. Very intelligent play. Very intelligent play. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a unusual Wazard ball. Very effective. I like that. That's you see how he splits up the rhythm of the normal striking. So again, his opponent's looking for that nuki door. He's looking. F he's expecting the men, but instead of um, leaping forward in this sort of conventional way, he sort of uh, leapt forward with the fumikomi as he raised the shinai to a large uh, furikaburi, and then as he's brought up his la left leg, hit the the men strike. Um, it's still. It, it's still Kikentai no Ichi. It's still Kikentai no Ichi. Um, it's just done in a different rhythm. See that here. Bam. So his opponent's like, what? I thought he was coming from there and it's kind of really thrown him off. Um, and it's given him that chance to hit, hit a clean men's strike. Um, I want to watch that again in full speed because I thought it was fantastic. Unorthodox, but fantastic. 
very, very clean men strike. Not often you'll see something that's a little bit outside of the box, but still very effective like that. Wonderful. And that's it. That's the end of the video. Um, so yeah, fantastic. Um, I really enjoyed that. It's a little bit different to what I normally watch. I'm obviously as someone that lived in Japan, did a lot of my kendo, uh, spent a lot of my kendo life in Japan, uh, learning kendo in Japan. It's not often that I look to uh, kendo in other countries. Um, you know, uh, but this is a very high level tournament. There's some great kendo. I especially liked um, Mr. Kim's uh, Ippons from uh, the clip we just watched. But obviously Mr. Lee's Ippons were fantastic as well. Um, yeah, lot to be taken from it. Let me know what you thought. Did you enjoy it? Let me know a comment down below. Like I said, obviously um, there are some differences between how kendo's done in South Korea and how it's done uh, in Japan and other countries. I'm not really interested in getting into that. I've talked about it in the past. I've got a video especially about uh, my thoughts on kendo versus kundo. I'm not going to talk about it here. I'm not interested in comments about that here either so don't bother writing that. Um, just let me know if you thought the video was good um, or if you thought it was rubbish. <laughs> uh, if you thought it was rubbish well sucks to be you so anyway uh <laughs> thanks for joining me today uh and i'll see you all uh next time bye bye oh shop at kendo star bye <laughs>